This is Rob's mirror out of his E46 M3 with the Horsepower Freaks turbocharger kit. We have completed installing the AEM wideband and boost gauges inside his rearview mirror. And just going to run through a series of final tests before we ship the mirror out to make sure that every, everything is uh, functioning properly. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is actually just make sure that both of the gauges are powering on when it's connected to a power supply. And I'll go ahead and connect that. All right, looks like everything is working uh, perfectly. Now, one of the things that we add to the mirror when we install the gauges is we install a small photo sensor on the back of the mirror and what that's designed to do is detect the amount of ambient light that's present outside the vehicle and basically it's telling the mirror or the gauges it's uh, daytime or it's nighttime and it will automatically adjust the brightness of the displays uh, if it's the middle of the day and it's very bright outside you're going to want to have the uh, gauges at their full illumination which they actually are right now because I've placed a small light here behind the mirror to simulate some sunlight and of course at nighttime when it's dark outside uh, if you have these things cranked up all the way it's going to just be too bright so what we're going to do is just actually move the lights out of the way here in the back and you can see the display dim down if we move the light back it powers back up and of course with our mirror when the gauges are off the front of the front of the mirror doesn't have any uh, evidence that there's anything behind there we use a special custom fabricated glass for the uh, gauge mirror setup this is the steering column cover that it comes standard with the uh, Horsepower Freak Turbo kits. This is the cover that came out of Rob's car. And uh, what we do is take the gauges out, remove the other components. There's a race fuel key, there's an LED to let you know that race fuel is switched on, and there's an ox iron here uh, that sounds in the event that the car sees any knock. Now, we're going to just test these individually, and the first test, I'm going to just turn the race fuel key here. We've got a multimeter attached, and we just want to test continuity here. And what we should see is when I turn the key, this needle should swing from the far left to the far right. And there we go. We turn the key, and then we, as we, then we turn the key back off. We want to see it go back down. The next thing we're going to test is the race fuel indicator, the race fuel LED. And again, when we just connect a power supply, we see the light come on, disconnect, off. All right, on, off. Looks like All right, the last component we're going to test is the NOx siren. We have this connected to our 12 volt power supply. And I'm just going to turn this on and make sure that the NOx iron is functioning. Okay, that's definitely working. All right, it looks like everything has passed. Everything's working correctly. Rob, congratulations on your new mirror. We hope you enjoy it for many years.